South Asia is a well-known global destination for prominent tech-savvy human capital. It has long been an IT outsourcing destination around the world, which is specifically evident in the nation of India. But the smaller counterpart, which is Bangladesh, is on the path to become the next technology outsourcing destination in the region. According to the Global Service Index, Bangladesh has emerged as the 21st best country in the world for IT outsourcing. This makes a South Asian country have yet another opportunity to expand its global footprint in the outsourcing world. After all, Bangladesh is already well known for its textile outsourcing industry. Further, however, is that Bangladesh's IT sector is forecasted to be a $5 billion sector by 2025, which rapidly grew from only $300 million in 2006. But can Bangladesh really become an IT global destination? After all, $5 billion is still small compared to its competitors. Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. Bangladesh's IT sector started way back in 1964, when the world's first main frame computer arrived at Dhaka University, but the emergence of his growth started three decades later in 1997, when the government of the nation established a national information policy. Throughout the next few years, several initiatives then followed to ensure that Bangladesh does indeed establish a formidable ICT industry. By 2007, several global institutions around the world have helped Bangladesh make this a reality. From the USAID to the World Bank, to JICA and even DANIDA. Two years prior, however, in 2005, the Bangladesh Information and Communications Technology Business Center actually failed. Come 2008, the Awami League government, or the current sitting political party in Bangladesh, declared that the land will have a so-called digital Bangladesh. This manifesto would establish the nation's digital economy to rapidly rise. It meant that businesses would be integrated into the technology world. Education would be enhanced either by applying technology or by studying them. But most importantly, the use of advanced technologies such as cloud computing would be used to alleviate poverty. Today, these initiatives have not only found their way to establishing Bangladesh with a growing IT sector, but also enhanced the population's digital life. There are over 117 million internet subscribers as of 2021 in Bangladesh and 4,500 IT-related registered enterprises which employ over a million people in the nation. And most importantly, its ICT exports are worth more than a billion dollars. The value of Bangladesh's ICT sector has grown this big because of the government's decisive initiatives, the transformation of the overall digital economy through the establishment of cheap Wi-Fi, as the nation is according to the Bangladesh Investment Development Authority, the 18th cheapest in the world. Furthermore, its 4G coverage by population is over 95%, which is among the highest, but most importantly, is that its 5G implementation is on the way and has already started in 2021. Another growth engine is the construction of high-tech parks. There are around 29 of these tech centers and growing every year. Take for example, one of these is the Bangabadu High-Tech City, a business park in Ghazipur district. It has more than five companies operating within it and has over 13,000 employed workers. These are likewise the causes of Bangladesh's IT sector growth. While there is more to it, we think that these are the biggest developers. But for the future of the IT industry, as it is projected to reach $5 billion by 2025, is still obviously small. Its competitors from India have an industry far larger. Then from the east, ASEAN has a growing formidable human and tech capital. But Bangladesh's economy is growing and catching up, and from what it seems, it has vast experience, maybe more than its competitors when it comes to dealing with international business. After all, it is home to a robust textile outsourcing industry. Moreover, Bangladesh has a healthy human capital. It produces over half a million or more university graduates, and these graduates are well known to be very tech-savvy, showing that Bangladesh is equipped with the knowledge to take the digital opportunity opportunity. But what's really going to make Bangladesh's competitive advantage is due to its cost. It is, according to data, one of the lowest cost destinations for IT. Lastly, Bangladesh's physical and ICT infrastructure has been developed well over the years. As previously noted, it has a 95% 4G data coverage. 
But also, more importantly, is the nation's rapid development of power generation. It grew from having its population to have little or less access to power to over 99.5% of its population. So knowing these, do you think Bangladesh can become an IT hub?